Welcome to Tech Weather with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about dot show table statement. Um, this is very useful statement, and uh, we can uh, do tons of things. Uh, we can get the list of our tables in a database uh, uh, in Kusto, and uh, we can see the table details. Uh, we can also see the schema of a table or tables uh, by using a dot show tables. So, now let's go ahead and take a look uh, how exactly we can uh, use this uh, statement. Um, so first of all, uh, I have this uh, database called the Tech Builder DB, and uh, then uh, there are some uh, uh, tables here, and a couple of them uh, uh, we are going to use is Customer Asia and Total Sale One. Um, so now, first of all, uh, if we would like to get uh, the list of all tables, uh, then what I can use, uh, I can say dot show tables. Uh, so this is very powerful uh, in uh, SQL. Uh, we always use us uh, like uh, such as uh, select star from sys dot tables and all that. Uh, so this is something like that. Uh, so now it is giving you a list of the table names uh, right here and uh, the data database name and then a folder name. Uh, so in this case, the uh, customer data one folder is there and there is one table under it. Uh, so you can uh, see right there, that's a folder and there, uh, there is a customer table. Uh, then also, if you have used a doc uh, string, uh, that's a descriptive uh, information about your entity, it is going to show you there. Uh, so you can see right there. Uh, Okay, so uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to go for more specific tables. Uh, let's say I don't want to see all the tables, but I would like to see only two tables. Um, so I can say dot show tables and then uh, have a curly, uh, sorry, had a small parenthesis starting one table one, table two, comma, table three, four, five, and then close uh, the small parenthesis. Um, so let's uh, run this uh, statement and see what it will turn up. Uh, now it returns us only these uh, two tables, uh, what we have specified inside these uh, brackets. Um, now we can uh, click right there and then uh, see it will return us table name, database name, folder and doc string. Uh, that's all it does uh, return. Uh, now if we would like to uh, see more details about a table, we can use uh, detail with the, our show table. Uh, so in this case, what you are going to do, you're going to say dot show table actual table name in our case is a customer area table and then say details so you see right there so I'm going to execute and now it's going to return us more details so in this case uh, it is going to return us table name database name folder doc string total extents uh, so that's uh, depend upon number of rows and all that and then size uh, total original size uh, total row count uh, heart extents uh, and heart extent size and uh, hot original size uh, and there's tons of uh, other information it is going to return you now see authorized principal retention policy 365 days uh, uh, caching policy 31 days uh, and uh, max uh, shredding policy max row count and then you have merge policy and a ton of other information that's really helpful to see about a table now uh, let I don't know if when I have any table in which I have the data. We did insert some data in previous uh, uh, videos for some of the tables, but I don't remember which one. But that's fine. You can see it is going to return you that information. Now, if I would like to see the detail for more tables, I can do something like this: the dot show tables, and then uh, just in the parentheses, I can provide the list of those uh, tables. In this case, let's say let's take a look on customer Asia and salary table, and then at the end you will say details. Uh, highlight this uh, query and run it uh, now it's going to show us uh, two tables uh, and their information um, that's pretty cool uh, and a lot of information i can gather from this query now if i'm interested to see all the tables and their details uh, i can say dot show tables detail uh, and the specify no table here is going to return me every table in the database uh, and then uh, it's going to return the name of the database uh, folder uh, in which uh, those table does exist in this case the customer does exist in a customer data one folder and then uh, we have a doc string uh, and here we have a uh, total extents uh, that's one and uh, total uh, extent size is the 701 and uh, then you have a uh, total original size and then uh, total rows and all that there is only one row here now you can go further right there and see all the information okay so and uh, that's the creation time and all that the min and max and all that okay so that works great now what we can do here 
uh, we can go to the next level and see some more information. So how, how to get the schema of a table in Kusto. So in this case, let's say if I'm interested to see the schema of a customer table, one way is uh, I can always go to the table here and say, oh, name is string, date of birth is date, of birth, date time, user ID is user ID. But I, I can use this uh, command to see this uh, schema as well. So dot show table, actual table name, in this case is a customer Asia, that's our table name. And then we will say CSL -S schema. So this is a, a CLS schema. That's what you're going to do together, right? So just uh, highlight this uh, statement, run it, and it's going to show you the table name and then schema of it. Uh, this is very beautiful uh, and easy to read. Uh, so see right there, customer Asia, name is string, date of birth is date time, and user ID is string. Uh, so same exact information what we see here, but uh, more readable and uh, you can have uh, for, uh, you know, uh, maybe copy, paste, send to some uh, other users and all that. Uh, Okay, and also it shows you the database name, doc string, and the folder name. Now, if you would like to see this schema as a JSON, you can do that. So, so you will this, uh, do something like this. Um, so you will say, copy, let me copy the table name here. So you will say dot show table, actual table name. In our case, is customer area schema, and then say as JSON. Just highlight this uh, line and execute. Uh, the same information what we saw above as uh, just a schema. Now it is returning you as a JSON. So you can click right there. So you have table and then you have uh, the schema. So here is uh, your uh, table name and uh, this is your uh, JSON for your entire list of the columns. Uh, so here you see that the customer area, that's the name of a, a table. And here uh, is your uh, column name, name, and uh, the data uh, type is a uh, string. And then you have another column date of birth here and uh, the uh, data type is the date time. Uh, then you have uh, another column user ID and then uh, the data type is the string as well. Uh, now it tells you in which database it is. Tech Brothers, there is no folder specified for this and there is no doc string specified. Um, so this uh, dot show uh, table are very powerful. Uh, uh, statements uh, that can be used uh, to grab the information uh, uh, from the database for different uh, tables. Um, I hope this video will help. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.